Lest we forget, in the end, God is a judge. We will have to give an account of our actions here on earth. Top of the morning to you. So when we read Romans 13 through 15 with an eye on learning more about God so that we can learn to love him more, we discover how God established government for us. It seems God is the ultimate authority and he delegates this authority to earthly governments. He doesn't like it when we stand up against these authorities, enough so that Father will bring down judgment on those who rebel. God uses the civil authorities to execute his wrath on the wrongdoers. Who are some of these wrongdoers? Those who don't respect the weak believers. We're supposed to be patient with them. 14.7. Live to the Lord, not self. Verse 8. The Lord owns us. We belong to him. We live to him and we die to him. God's not playing games. He is a judge in the end and we will have to give an account for our actions. So we must ensure that we walk in love, making sure that we don't hurt others or cause the ruin of anyone for whom Christ died. If we must complain, he says, come to him with our personal convictions rather than hurt believers. It's called sin when we don't act from faith by holding true to our convictions. We are to bear with those who are weak in faith and he will supply the patient endurance. He also gives us encouragement to live in harmony with our fellow believers, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. After all, Christ welcomed and received us for the glory of God. Therefore, we are to welcome each other. The God of our hope also fills us with all joy and peace when we believe so we can abound and overflow with hope. Hope what? That with the Holy Spirit we can experience God's power of signs and wonders to follow our preaching. In this we can rest that God is a giver of peace. There's so many good things to know about God, but let's not just know about Him, but know Him by spending time and thinking thanking him for who he is. Read his word with these intentions and we will experience the height, length, depth, and breadth of his love, enabling us to fulfill our original identity he gave us as love here on earth. Have a great day.